Hey folks, Dave here um, with another review. Uh, first and foremost, uh, John, David, Dad, I miss y'all, love y'all dearly. Um, I want to say hi to Matthew, my son. Problem of being dad, thank you, thank you. My son's awesome. And um, he gives me so much great advice. Thank you, son. Um, <clears throat> up to day is... The Transformers Legacy, which is uh, this one of uh, Wreck and Brew Collection, which is uh, Amazon exclusive line. This one is that Clone Universe Twin Twist. Uh, when I first saw him, the pictures I saw were kind of dark. So at first I thought it was like a repaint uh, to make him look like Saltman Z, uh, which I believe was a KO or something similar to that, uh, which was more brown and or like a dark brown or a black with yellow but this actually turns out to be a dire clone uh, they did make this guy um, i was able to find him online and uh, it looks okay i just wish they would have given him a different name other than twin twist comes in this box there's the zip code uh they, he's readily available on on amazon i mean all their collection is is available right now uh, but that's to be understood because they're not very great uh, or too much of a difference color wise so yeah so there he is uh, he comes in this box beep, beep, and he pitting the light inside he comes taped up in this box which I, you know I, I don't understand why they're going this route of trying to say plastic and uh, but not trees so I mean, save a tree, ride a cowboy. And that's that's all I gotta say to that. Let's kind of tighten this up a little bit. But it comes taped up to that. He comes with the instructions. See, universe. And he comes with this piece, um, which actually becomes the handle to, I guess, a hammer. So. Uh, once I start getting the other ones, I'll go ahead and show that off, put together. But here's Twin twin Twist. Okay. And I got to say, the colors really do pop. Uh, the red and the dark bluish purple really looks good. Uh, it comes with the same guns he came with in the original release. And so uh, he does have a different Autobot symbol, the G2. So, I mean, is he really G2 or is he Diacone? Who knows, right? Who knows? But there he is. Let me get some comparisons here. There he is, his original G1. So, he's quite taller. All right. Yeah, he's quite taller. And here he is against the original release twin twist so let's move up the camera just a little bit and there you go and you can really tell they put some effort in this uh recolor at first i thought that even the face was different but it's not it's the same face that so they just pop out more because of the dark blue color so that's what the difference is there And here's his buddy topspin. I mean, the red and blue really do pop. Looks good. And it's pull out twin twist. Ah, topspin, I mean. And as you can tell, red and blue, silver highlights, red and uh, no. Yellow highlights colored the wheels on the inside, which was kind of surprising because they did not do that in the original. They kind of cheapened out there, but they did it on this one. Here's the back. And so forth. Okay. Um, articulation. Let's start with the head, right? Head spins because uh, the little... Headmaster head is on a 
ball joint. Arms do spin all the way around. Ball joint it. In and out. In and out. Uh, though when you do it like this, it is hindered by this little uh, track. Arms do bend. They have a double bend. So it gives you the full 90. It does have a turn at the waist. And it does have hips. And then out could do the full Van Dam, and it does have a bend. And I have to say, this one has far better. Um, it's actually tighter than the Cyclonus I got what earlier this week. Okay, um, I was able to get this one because I sold a few things and I picked this guy up. That way I can do a new review. Yay, new reviews! And that's basically it. You see the whole spinning thing. So drill bits and of course the head pops off and you can make him into his little head um spin the head around let's see does he have a name let's see where's the instructions i lost the instructions there they are what do they call this dude little head dude They did not give the little head dude a name. Okay, so maybe he's like a master force? Or they're the humans that control the robot bodies? Who knows? Who knows? Kind of weird. Uh, the colors do pop a lot more on this one than the original. This one, they went ahead and painted the whole face. This one with just the visor in blue and just the rest in white. The blue arms, the red legs, the silver body. I mean, it just pops out a lot more. I really like this color tone. So let's keep him here. And uh, let's go into transformation. But first, let's check out these guns. Which are basically the same guns that came with the original one. You can uh, put them here. Make it look like he has a cannon on top. All right. And you can also combine them to make one big gun, like say that. And I believe these, yeah. And you can make him a little ship. Him, her, we don't know. We don't know. Transformation, this guy. Is the same as the original. Um, you get the hands, put those babies up, put those the arms into the arm into the lower arms. And you close it. Okay. They end up looking like this. Same thing on the other side. Close and close. And same thing. You get this, you unhinge it, unlock it. Maybe I should have done the legs first, right? I don't know, man. I don't know, I'm losing it. Old age. Uh, pop these out. Close in the legs. And you're going to want them closed up all the way as far as you can. So that they kind of go like that. Where you they're just touching, real touching up to the thing. This closes off. And then this closes off too. And it makes another like engine port or, or flame exhaust or something. And you just do that to the other foot as well. Come on, close it. And close it and you have the two feet exhaust. And then you see tab here and a tab there. And you just kind of close it all together come here close it get in there ah, there you go <clears throat> flip this around whoa <laughs> okay maybe they didn't push that in all the way all right i actually did not hear it lock back in place spin this spin the body around okay pull out the drill pieces 
rip this arm in. Flip in, flip in. You flipping thing. Okay, kind of closes off on itself. This one too. And they have little tabs for they lock into place. Uh, one's here in the upper arm and one's here on the tab here. Here and here. Same thing on this side. See that little tab right there? And then there's a tab up front. Kind of close it in. Yeah. There you go. And then this just kind of locks back into place like so. This closes off. This closes off. Real simple transformation. And then let's go down. This dude, her chick, and close it off. And there it goes. And he rolls pretty good. Let's make sure we can get these guns on here. And these guns can pretty much go where they need to go. Whatever port you want to put them in. This one there. One there. And I gotta say, it, it, it really looks good in these colors. It really pops. It really pops a lot. Uh, let's check these out. Ow. Ooh, man, I got a cramp. <laughs> there he is. Again, Cyclonus. Uh, this is the Headmaster Cyclonus. That's Scourge. Scourge. Dang it, Cyclonus. I'm still thinking about the wobbly legs. Um, here he is. Against Hardhead, which isn't transformed right. There you go. Hard to so, I mean, he really looks good. I, I like this. Um, I believe he's close to $30 on Amazon right now. So, there's that. So, he looks really good. And uh, again, today, I am doing this because I want uh, to get that Masterpiece Creations uh, Defsaurus. And there's also a Superion. Is that a Superion I want to get? So I'm selling stuff to get more stuff to do reviews of. So uh, this is buy my stuff. There we go. Here's your Hardhead. All right. There is Scourge. Okay. Um, there is Cable. Cable. Oh man, he's too tall. A Master Le Marvel Legends. I'm gonna get mo rid of most of my Marvel Legends figures. Here's Thor. But I think this is from the Toy Biz. Okay. Here is some weird looking Captain America. Weird looking Captain America. And, um,. Disco Iron Man kind of looks like a Halloween Iron Man. I don't know why they call him Disco Iron Man. And this is James Rhodes as uh, Iron Patriot. Again, if you can buy my stuff or you feel like sending me free money to some stranger you barely met on the internet, you can cash at me. Just contact me and I'll give you my cash app, which I believe is like the dollar sign and Dave A2774, something like that. I'll figure it out. Okay, um, but I, I do want to get those figures so I can review them for, for you guys. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon, weekend, evening. And uh, God bless. God bless everybody. Bye.